You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is going to be a non-standard video, or maybe a standard one going forward, but just sort of a, a monthly check-in to see the stuff that I've been using. But people uh, are like, I kind of want to see what you're using during a month, Mike. And so I'm like, okay, let's see what I've got. So I've kind of kept track of some things that I've been using off and on, and I'll show you what I've been taking with me daily and that sort of jazz. So like, let's get into a couple of paper products first. Um, firstly, I've been using these. Oh, they're falling all apart. These, I'm pretty sure, came from Kawaii Pin Shop in one of their sort of mystery box things that they that I've gotten a couple of times. Uh, these are sticky note bookmarks, and I was pretty excited about these because I use this kind of bookmark sort of thing a lot. They give you this little index tab, which is really useful. At the bottom, they're glue bound, so you can kind of take out a set if you just want to carry one of them with you or whatever. And I've been using these a fair amount uh, in this here book. This is my one of my Doraemon books. And um, it's just, uh, it's only okay, really, these, these bookmarks. As you can see, they're pretty huge, and so there's like some ends here, because I'll cut off the ends, because otherwise they just won't fit. Like, this much bookmark is fine, but I mean, look at this. It takes up so much of my page, and add to that, these are just barely sticky. I mean, this is barely, barely in there, and, you know, the same is true with the rest of them. I have been using this pizza one, which is very good, uh, but these are just kind of like barely sticky, and... So I just, I don't think these are great. I mean, they're not very expensive probably, but also just the stickiness, it's just not there. They need to be stickier than they are. They're uh, pretty weak sauce as far as a post-it sort of situation, and you have to clip them. And so like these, they're they're okay, but the ones from like post-it and such are just going to be better. So these are meh, pretty meh. And like this one, that would take up so much of my page. I don't I don't want to do that. Now, if it was a case where I was not just making tabs for you know what I need to find you know for this uh, for this thing. And I was actually writing notes and then having a tab, okay, but like then the stickiness is still going to be a problem. They're just not, they're just not very sticky, which is kind of weird. I would think the stickiness would be figured out. The other sticky thing that I've been using that is great are these little tiny Kokuyo ones, and I love these. I've very cleverly hidden the main pack of these little ones. There are a whole bunch of these, but this is the packaging for the larger one. I'm pretty sure that I got these at uh, Jet Pens, and these are great. So, Kukuyo's Tack Memo. I am a big fan of these little sticky notes. You can write on them with fountain pens, which is nice. That's some fountain pen right there. It works just fine. Uh, those are just like some little notes from a game I was playing. But uh, these are these are plenty sticky. They're quite good. They stick on they stick on things very well. I've got them on my monitor up here, and I just really like these. I think they're a great size for little small notes, and so I definitely recommend these. Very good. Uh, these, uh, not so great, but these, very good. Check out the Kukuyo TAC memo. Uh, some other stuff I've been using, this is the Retro 51 that's been living on top of my my desk. If you see my live videos, you'll know that behind me I've got a case of these things because I love Retro 51s, I think they're a lot of fun. And this is the one that I've been using recently, which is the Dinosaur Bones one. As you can see, this one has like, it's got a texture to it. I really like a Retro 51 with a texture to it. It's real nice. And this is the Oto Flash Dry Refill, which I think is pretty okay. I don't love it, but it's pretty good. And then look at this very good mosquito at the top. That's the only mosquito I like, which is just a picture of a mosquito. Every other mosquito, bad. But this one, good. So I've been using this one. Uh, I found my favorite flashlight. I had lost it in putting together some things on my desk. I moved a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is my Lumen Top IYP 365, which is a very nice um, uh, CRI or whatever sort of flashlight, which doesn't distort colors. It's got a little bit of a yellowish hue to it, but it doesn't distort colors when you shine it at things, which I uh, love for pin shows and for you know stuff I do online and just kind of in general. This is a very nice little flashlight, and I dig it. And not very expensive. I think this is maybe like 15 bucks or something. I've had it for quite a few years, but very nice. Next up, I have been I've been carrying this all semester long. This has become my go-to pen case. Uh, I think this is really good. This is the Rickshaw and Nakko Sinclair R. I may have to get another one or two of these because this is just real good. This pouch on the or pocket on the outside is real good for putting. Like sometimes I just want to carry a bunch of these, and so I'll just stick them in there for if I'm doing a bunch of reading. And uh, you know, it carries whatever. You can put a phone in there, a pocket knife, all kinds of things. Oh, it's orange. How about that? It's orange on the inside. That's fun. And then it's orange in here with all the fluff. And so I keep uh, fountain pens usually in this side and something else in this side. So I've been doing a whole lot of highlighting recently. And so uh, this is a highlighter from um, 
uh, from Muji that uh, my friend Kimberly got for me. That uh, is, it's kind of weird. Like you click that. Oh yeah, now it's working. Well, if you pull up on this, it'll retract. But this is a very nice little retractable highlighter. I've also been using a couple of others uh, a whole lot this month. And that is, this is a Faber-Castell shiny silver highlighter. And I wasn't sure what to make of this, but it actually does highlight in a shiny silver, which is like pretty neat. It's a little bit on the bleedy side and it's a little bit dark. You can actually see some of the shimmer there on the tip, but it puts out a lot more shimmer than I would think. And it can be a little bit distracting in the wrong lights because you get more shimmer than you do text, but it actually worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. And then a couple of mild liners. I love these mild liners. I have packs of these things, but I've been using these two colors. I don't know what the heck these two colors are, except for like this one's kind of a soft mint, and this one's kind of a sunflower color, and they go really well together, especially coming up on spring. And uh, so I've really been enjoying these. I think they are quite good, and uh, they haven't been bleeding through paper or anything like that. They are not exactly safe for uh, highlighting over fountain pen. Uh, that For that use, I use these. These are the Text Surfer Classic from Stadler. These are the best for highlighting over uh, ink of any kind, really. They're inkjet safe, as you can see there, and they are most of the time fountain pen safe. So. Uh, also in here, I have some jelly rolls that I've been using. I like to have contrasting color jelly rolls or some sort of contrasting color pen when I'm doing a bunch of notes, uh, and I've been teaching a new course, and so I've been doing a bunch of notes and notations and all that kind of thing. Then I always keep uh, some kind of multi-pin in here because very similar reasons. I like having multiple colors at hand at any one time. And this one is a really nice one. This is the Jetstream uh, 4 and 1 uh, multi-pen. You've got here uh, black, blue, green, and red multi-pen, and then also a uh, 0.5 millimeter pencil, which is sometimes a little bit handy. I don't use pencil a whole lot, but you can, and it has a little eraser here under the cap. So this is really nice. I like all these these multi-pens from Jetstream. I think Jetstream makes the best of ballpoints, and so this is pretty good. It lives in this case right now. I've also got in here this uh, camel-colored Zebra Sarasa clip. This is one of the vintage colors, and this camel color is just fantastic. The ink looks like this. I don't even need to write with it. Trust me, it looks like this, and it's great. Uh, on the other side, I've got this here. This is a Franklin Christoph Model 46. This was one of my bird pens from uh, that, I, that I sold a while back, and this has a, a medium sig in it. I've been using some nice bright blue ink. Uh, this is uh, my, my Parker du Dual Fold. It's the only one I have. It's a modern Dual Fold, and man, I really like this pen. Every time I use it, I'm just like, this nib is fantastic. I wish these weren't so expensive because they are real pricey, but I got it on a super good sale and uh, no regrets. This is a great pen. And then lastly is one I just got. This is one I used in my Panther 40 review, and I liked it so much that I uh, that I got it from Franklin Kristoff. I was like, I have to have this. So um, <laughs> this is this is mine now, uh, and this is just very very uh, shimmery and has some like nice depth and iridescence. It's real pretty. I've got a uh, a broad Naginata Togi from Mike Masayama in it right now with a sailor ink, and I'm really liking it. I mean, this is just a very a very comfortable pen to use, and I'm I've really been enjoying this. So there you go. That's my that's that that's been in use. What else? Oh, I got this this month, and I've been using. Oh no, this isn't the one I got this month, but this is the one that has the um the sparkly shimmery olive ink from the uh from the the ink vent calendar, and I've been using this quite a bit. I really enjoy this. This has a broad sig on it as well in that Twisby Eco bright yellow. Uh, I've got this one. This is a Pilot G2, but it's a bright pink G2. And if you want to have some like attention drawn to your text, bright pink G2 will do it. This is pretty good. Uh, also, my Conid, which has um, Sailor Manio Kobe in it, which I've really been liking a lot. This is in my pocket today. Likewise, this one, which is my original Shown Design pocket pen. It's like the, I think it's the Shown Design pocket pen, like version 2 or something like that, because it has the clip. But this uses a... Um, uh, what do you call it? The the pressurized uh, uh, cartridge. Mm, I'm not going to come out. Space pen. It uses a space pen refill is what this one has. And, I mean, I've been carrying this one for a long time, and it looks... It looks so good. I'll throw it in the pocket with my keys sometimes. Not usually my phone, because this is metal, and I don't want to put metal against my phone, but uh, I will throw it in with my keys and stuff, and it just hasn't gotten scratched up. I've seen a bunch of others that have taken some battle damage, but this one is... Whoop. Aside from me just flipping the cap everywhere, really good and still kicking. Need to get a new refill. This one's starting to peter out, but, uh, you know, real nice. This always goes in my pocket, or at least a lot of times it goes in my pocket because you got to have that. And then this is a, uh, this is a, a Lamy 2000 multi-pen. 
I think this will be it for pens. These are the ones that I've been using most. A lot of stuff at my desk, but these are the ones that go with me. And like I said, I love a multi-pen. I have re I have <laughs> replaced every one of the uh, the inks in here with a jet stream. Unless I couldn't get a jet stream, like for the red, I think is maybe not a jet stream. What is this one? Yeah, yeah, the red's a pilot because I couldn't get a red jet stream at the time, so I just got this pilot one instead. But it's quite good and. Uh, these are all better than the ones that ship with the Lamy. I love the body for the Lamy All-Star, but man, their ballpoint refills are just the pits. So this really improved it, and I carry this a lot. It's a very handy pen to have around, and you have a bunch of different colors just based on how you rotate the barrel. Good stuff. All right, and then uh, for inks and that sort of thing, we can kind of look at what I what I inked up this month because that's what I've been using a lot of for sure. Uh, I've got a couple of these new Sailor Yurimiku inks that I got from Dromghouls. Thanks, Dromghouls. I'll be doing videos for those very soon. I've got uh, Yurimiku Suki Gokuro, which is real nice in this Leonardo Prisma. I think it flows very well in this Flex Fine, and I enjoy the way that that looks. That's a cool color. And then I went for the next up uh, in my Prera. This is uh, Yurimiku's Kokoro Guma, which I had forgotten how much I liked the Prera. Like, don't sleep on a Prera. These are great little pens. I always think like, oh, it's too small. I'm not going to like it that much. But darn it, I really like it. And then... Um, in my uh, Pro Gear Old Fashioned, I've got this Kakamori Hello, which is a pigmented ink. And look at that brick color. Very pleasing, fun to write with. Then over in my Pilot Explorer, which is also brand new, I've started using these Andorillium inks that they sent out for review. And man, I've only got two of them in pens right now, but I love both of them. This Rosette Spoonbill Pink, look how bright that thing is. Woo! Uh, Navalur, I have this in my pen and farina. I, I, these inks are pretty dry, and so I had to put them in a couple of, uh, a couple of different pens than I had them in originally. So, I've got it in my, uh, pen and farina PF1 and my Invincia Deluxe with a Namasani number 6 uh, stub, or .6 stub, rather. And, uh, these are quite a lot better than these, and they were the original pens I put them in. Then, Navalur's or Narwhal's Dark Forest. I've got that in my Cheerio water pen. This is the pen I uh, had made with Ian Schoen. I love this thing, and I've got my Monarch nib in here. I knew that this nib or this ink would need a wet nib, and man, it is perfect in the Monarch. Uh, the Monarch is a very wet nib. This is a really dry ink, and so you get this combination that is just kind of perfect. Like you get a little bit of shading here and there. You get good color. You got great flow. Uh, yeah, no regrets. I think this is a great ink to put in that nib. Then uh, over here, I've got the Narwhal Mango Sorbet. I put this in my my Lamy Gloss Red All-Star because I just hadn't used this one yet, and I wanted to use the orange feed and the yellow section, but I didn't want to. It was like, don't use a dark ink or it might stain. So I'm like, all right, let's use yellow. And it's actually been great in here. I really like it, and I really like the... This is just a really pretty pen to carry around. Then my Twisby Eco Saffron, which is the newest one of those. I've got another Andorillium ink. This is that Flapjack Octopus. And look at that orange. That is a great orange. I am really liking that. Uh, my Lamy Safari Petrol. I have Sailor Date Gokoro in a 1.1 stub. That one is noticeably purple. I also had it in an extra fine. Uh, and I think the extra fine just didn't have enough flow for it. Or maybe that extra fine was a little bit, it was a little bit wonky. I, I didn't love the nib and I didn't love the way it was it was acting. So I went ahead and put this 1.1 stub on there and it's fantastic. These stubs are maybe a little bit on the dry side, but it's working real well with this ink. And then lastly, that I just inked up uh, today as I'm recording, my Franklin Christoph Modified 40. That's this new one. Just inked that up with Hana Gokoro. And Hana Gokoro is like a, it's like a blue black is what it turns out. It doesn't go down blue-black, but it turns blue-black. So, very cool. Really liking that. I, uh, I'm really liking, really liking these uh, Yurimiku inks. They are super, super good. So there's two of them, and then these are the other two. And I thought they were all gonna look the same when you write with them, because the swatches end up being very, very similar, but they're actually quite different when you write with them. So that's um, that's a nice surprise, and I dig it. So, uh, oh, and I also got that, that Mango Sorbet ink from uh, Narwhal is also in this. This is the uh, the Shown Design Ultim, the big Ultim uh, twist, I think they're calling it. And uh, it's this is great. This has been fantastic in this pen. I've got a uh, Flex 18K uh, Franklin Christoph nib in it. It's just a Yovo Flex nib in gold, and it has been awesome in this pen. And this pen is great in the hand. So uh, I'm looking forward to see what else Ian does with this large platform for the Ultim because... 
This is gorgeous. You'll see a video on this very soon, I imagine. All right, so, uh, oh, and then one more, the honorable, honorable mention. This one, this is a, this is a Pilot Acro, mm, Acro 1000, something like that. I'll try to look it up and I'll put it down here. Uh, but this is a really good ballpoint. I love the metal body on this thing. It's got a good, good click and it just feels really nice in the hand and the ink is fantastic. So uh, pretty much Jetstream level. The Acro ink and the Jetstream I think have a lot in common and um, real good. All right, that's it for this version of this uh, this video. If you like this, let me know down below. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Look at that graph. Let's make it go the other direction. And uh, let me know if I should do more of these because I mean, you know, if I should, I'll keep track and maybe I'll do some more of these and you know, you never know what you're gonna see. So uh, that's it. See you next time. Peace out.